Hi everybody, it's Kay, and today I'm here to help you get prepared for March Mystery Madness. Yeah, I know it's kind of early, but March Mystery Madness will be here before you know it. So first of all, I want to thank Elizabeth of Lizzie Faye Loves Books, one of the co-creators of Hashtag March Mystery Madness, for inviting me to participate as a host this year, and shout out to Troy Tao, the other co-creator. I feel like I'm in very good company this year. There are a lot of other hosts, and the links to their channels will be below in the description box. Now, there are six challenge words, or six prompts to help you um, get started with March Mystery Madness, words for you to consider as you're choosing books this year. The first word is shelf. So this, this means any book that is on your TBR, whether it's your physical bookshelf in your house or your Goodreads bookshelf, the first word is shelf. Pick a book from your own shelf to read. The second word is borrow. So you may want to borrow a book from a friend, a neighbor, a relative, or from the local library. The third word is new. That can mean that the author is new to you, it is a debut novel, or it is a new book by a familiar author. Fourth is historical. So you may want to read a book that has more of a historical lean to it, or you may just want to read an outright classic like an Agatha Christie, for example. The fifth word is foreign, and this can mean that the book was translated from another language, that the author comes from a foreign country, that maybe the subject matter or the material or the author is foreign to you. So you can kind of play with that a little bit. And then we have the word opposite. Opposite can mean that you read two books that are completely different. Maybe you read a cozy mystery and then you read a gritty crime drama. Maybe you read a Janet Ivanovich, and then you turn around and read a Walter Mosley. So opposite can mean that the writing styles are very different, the types of mysteries are very different, or you read someone that you normally wouldn't be drawn to. So that would be considered opposite as well. So yes, I'm really excited about March Mystery Madness this year and being a host for you guys. Um, in the meantime, I have a couple of um, mystery videos that you can watch here on the channel that I did umpteen years ago. My very first YouTube video was a review of Six Years by Harlan Coben. So you can check that one out. And then there's another one I did called Stranded by Alex Kava. So that hopefully will get you prepared and ready for March Mystery Madness. Stay tuned for TBR videos and book reviews and book discussions, all kinds of things coming up from all of the different wonderful hosts this year. See you guys later. Bye-bye.